So hello and welcome everyone to the TCS NQT 2025 DSA round playlist. So in this playlist what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all the questions that were asked in TCS NQT in the previous years. So this playlist will give you some kind of idea that what kind of questions are basically asked in the TCS NQT exam. So I highly recommend you to follow this playlist right from the start till the end to get the clear idea on the DSA round. So let's check out what does the first question says that the first question says that a chocolate factory is packing a chocolates into the packet. Okay. And these chocolate factories are basically represented in terms of array, which has the n numbers of integer. And what the task is, the task is to find the empty packets, which contains a zero chocolates, right? And we have to push it at the end of the array at the end of the array. Do let me know you that if you try to read this problem, you will come to know that the problem is given in the form of story format. And this is what most of the students get confused. They get unable to find the meaning of the question. The question is very easy. The question is very easy. Only a thing is they are trying to make us confused by giving them in the form of story. So let's try to identify what does a question means by given example. So what they basically say is that they will give us an array which contains total n elements in it. And what the task is, we have to push all the zeros at the end of my array. We have to push all the zeros at the end of my array. So what I will do is I will create the same array of size 8. So what I will do is I will take 4, 5, 1, 9, 5. So what I did is I have brought all the non-zero numbers at the start of my array. I have brought all the non-zero numbers at the start of my array. Also at the same time, do notice that the order of the numbers is as it is, right? The 4 came first, so 4 came first. The 5 came after the 4, so 5 came after the 4. Then I have 1, 9 and 5, 1, 9 and 5. Therefore, the order of the element should remain the same. And now whatever the remaining space are there, whatever the remaining space are there, I will simply fill up with the zeros. And this is what the question says. Whatever the zeros you get into your array, we have to push them at the end. We have to push them at the end, right? So from this, you came to know that the question is very easy. Only a thing is they have given in the story format, which is making us confusion, right? Now let's move on to check how we can try to approach this problem. So what I did is basically I have took the same array. So what we will do is we will keep on traversing this array. And this is the answer array in which I will be storing our final answer. So what I will do is I will keep a separate pointer, which we call as index, right? Let's call this as index. And I will come at here and I will check is this number is my zero? No, it is not zero. So simply push into my answer and increase the index by one position, increase my index by one position. Once you increase, then again, move to the next index that is at five. We have done with this. I will check. Is it my zero? No, five is not zero. So simply push it, push it into my answer, move the index at the next position by one. So let me raise this. And again, let move to the next element. Now observe carefully that I'm standing at zero, right? I'm standing at zero. So should I push it into my answer? No because there might be some possibilities that after the zero there are some non-zero elements after this zero there might be some elements which are non-zero therefore what i will do is until and unless i'm not completely done with all the elements present in my array i will not push a single zero in my answer right so simply skip this and go ahead simply skip this and go ahead also at the same time make sure i'm not moving my index i'm not moving my index right so i'm standing at one i will check is this my zero no this is not my zero simply push and take my pointer one position ahead so here it will be my index pointing now right so go to the next element that is nine again i will check is it zero no nine is not zero simply push go ahead and again this take my index at next location now observe carefully now I'm standing at zero. So should I push zero? No, because there might be some possibilities that at the end of my array, there will be some non-zero numbers. So simply skip this and go ahead. Simply skip this and move ahead. Now I'm standing at five. I will check. Is it a zero? No, it is not zero. So simply push five and simply take your pointer, both the pointers to the next location. So this will come at here and this will come at here. Now I'll check. Is it zero? Yes, it is zero. So don't do anything. Simply go ahead. Simply go ahead. And finally, finally, you have completely traversed the whole array. You have completely traversed the whole array. And if you observe carefully that I have brought all the non-zero numbers at the start of my array. 
also at the same time i have maintained their order as well now observe carefully that the total size of my array is 8 right the total size of my array is 8 and the number of elements i got are nothing but 5 so 8 minus 5 which is nothing but 3 and of course there are still 3 spaces are remaining so what you will place over here nothing but the 0 right if i have brought all the non-zero elements at the start what is remaining 0 so simply i will keep 0 i will start putting 0 till my till my these pointers goes out of my answer right so my pointer goes out of answer and this is what our final answer will look like so i hope you at least got some kind of clarity how we can approach this problem don't worry let's try to check out some few more examples to get more clarity on it so what basically did is i simply took one more example so what i will do is let me clear create the same array of size 8 one. so as usual start with 0 so this is our index and initially we are starting at 0 now we'll check is it equal to 0 yes you said it is equal to 0 so don't do anything because there might be some other elements to the right of it which is non-zero so simply go ahead simply go ahead and observe carefully i'm not moving my index i will move my index only when i have the non-zero element i will move my index only when i get a non-zero element so now i have got the non-zero element so simply push 5 and take the index to the next location so this is done this is also done go to the next Again, I have zero, don't do anything, don't do anything, go to the next. Again, I have zero, don't do anything, go to the next. So now I'm standing at nine, which is not equal to zero. So simply put nine and take both the pointers by one position ahead. So this will come at two and this will come at zero. So again, I'm pointing at zero. So don't do anything, go to the next. I'm standing at five, which is non-zero. Simply push into my answer, take the pointer ahead, take this pointer ahead and take this pointer ahead as well so now again i'm standing at zero again i'm standing at zero so go ahead please please go ahead so simply i came at the last of my array and i have completely traversed my array now there are total eight elements out of which i have filled three elements so still remaining five elements are there and if i traverse this array completely and i have brought all the non-zero elements at start then what is left there is nothing but zero so simply put zero take this pointer to the next simply put zero take this point to the next put zero take this point to the next take this point to your next put zero and take this point to the next and again you have completely traversed this array of size n and if you see carefully i have brought all the non zero numbers at the start and i have filled the remaining elements with zero and this is what required in our question right so there are some edge cases what if our array has all the zeros then we don't need to anything simply return as it is what if our array don't have the zero nothing we simply need to return as it is right so this was a basic question i hope so you came to know what is the approach and how to solve this problem now let's check out what will be the c plus plus and java code so this is the c plus plus and this is java code so see what i did here is i simply kept the index which is initializing to zero and i kept a new array which is answer the same thing i did in java index which is pointing to zero and the answer to store my final answer now i'm traversing my original array and what i did is if my ar of i is not equal to zero which means if that number is not zero simply push that into my answer array right and take my index plus plus similarly if my array is not equal to array of i is not equal to zero push it into our answer and take the index plus plus and once i completely traverse my array as we saw here is that there are total eight elements but i have filled only three so still five places are remaining right still five places are remaining so what we will do is until and unless our index is less than n whatever the space is left we will keep on adding zeros at it because at this part at this part we have brought all the non-zero numbers at the beginning so whatever the space is left in our answer we will simply fill it with the zero and finally i simply printed our answer so this was the most easiest question right if you understood this question do like this uh, do like this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel if you are new to our runtime error till then see you in the next video